injury pregame, um, it seemed like he was once again just a force throughout sort of the entirety of clutch time in this one. What was sort of your confidence that that last shot was going in? Oh, oh the utmost confidence. You know, that's why I didn't call a timeout. Um, let the best two-man game in the business play their game and get to their spots. And uh, for, you know, for Jamal to add to his playoff lore by having two game winners um, in a series is just incredible. And uh, the conversation before the game, without getting into too much detail, it was an emotional one um, about him playing tonight. And as he just told me, he goes, I'm glad I played because I don't know if we win if I don't play tonight. I said, well, that's the understatement of the year. Um, the kid's a warrior, man. I, just, I can't say enough good things about Jamal Murray. Um, the bigger the moment, uh, the kid just continues to shine. Um, and I'm proud of him. One tough cookie. And I tell you, the, I mean, Nicola, 25, 20, and 9. And uh, the most amazing stat was he was 0 of 0. He didn't miss a free throw tonight. Uh, and Michael Porter's offense throughout this series was incredible. His efficiency, 26 points, uh, 5 of 7 from 3. Um, you know, Michael had timely offense. Aaron, 13 boards. Um, and I thought Reggie gave us good minutes off the bench. Um, I would be remiss. I think Darvin Ham is a hell of a coach. And, you know, that's not an easy job. And I think Darvin does it with class. And I think he and his staff deserve credit for that. Um, he's a good man, good coach, and I wish, wish – uh, you know, him all the best, and hopefully he'll, he'll be around there for a long time because he deserves to be. Uh, and a credit to their team. You know, they're not an easy out. Uh, LeBron James is arguably the greatest player of all time. Anthony Davis is a Hall of Famer, and uh, they gave us all we could handle. You know, we did not want to get on that plane going back to L.A. And so now we can, you know, try to get ready for Saturday against a beast in Minnesota. Uh, but I got to give the, the Lakers a lot of credit, man. That was a hard-fought series, a lot harder than that 4-1 final score would uh, would indicate because we had to scrap for every game that we won in this series. Who initiated that conversation, you or Jamal? Oh, it's, it was a mutual. You know, it was something that we knew we had to, along with Steve Short, get on the same page with about, you know, what is in not only Jamal Murray's best interest and the team's best interest. And... Um, he was able to play, he was able to win the game, and uh, he didn't get hurt. So it was, uh, it was a great night all the way around. Michael, you mentioned uh, MPJ's 26 tonight. I think he finished just under 23 per game in the series. Felt like maybe his best playoff series of his career so far. Um, did it just feel like every game in the series you guys needed everything Mike had mm -hmm. for sh off off offensively? Yeah, I mean, it was hard to score. I mean, the way they were guarding us, I mean, buckets were hard to come by. and. Um, you know, obviously we did a better job tonight. We actually won the first quarter, a uh, better job with our paint defense. Um, but Michael hit some timely shots. You know, we ran plays for him. He got open. And uh, what I liked also is that if they didn't have the shot, he was able to get downhill, put pressure on the rim, get to the foul line, going five of six tonight. But, um, yeah, Michael, Michael's a guy that, you know, we rely upon for his uh, efficiency and his scoring. And uh, he did that at a very high level for these first five games. Coach, uh, KCP, uh, KCP actually left twice. Can you talk about what he was battling through in his effort tonight? Yeah, the uh, ankle, you know, ankle injury. And um, obviously he left to go back and uh, get it retaped, get it looked at. Then he was on the bike for a while. Um, it seemed like we had a lot of guys that were getting banged up along the way. I didn't know who the hell we were going to finish the game with. Um, you know, but you know, we were able to, to get the job done. But, yeah, KCP is a warrior. You know, he didn't shoot the ball as well as we all know that he can. But when he's not making shots, he's making life hell for his, uh, his opponent and his matchup. And, uh, and once again, you know, we'll, we'll rest tomorrow. We'll turn the page, get ready for Minnesota. Uh, we know them. They know us. Another rematch of last year's playoffs. And, um, you know, they're playing at an extremely high level. Coach, you said that it would have been tough to get back on the back on the plane and, and go to LA. Just how big was it to get this win with Jamal nicked up, then with KCP not knowing who's going to finish the game to get these four or five days of rest? Oh, really important. Um, and that was kind of the question. You know, do we does Jamal sit tonight and you give him more days to rest up, or do you kind of uh, you know put all your chips in the middle of the table and say, listen, we're not going back to LA. And that's what wound up happening. And any time you can get rest, I mean, give Minnesota credit. They handle their business. You know, four-game sweep. I believe the first sweep in uh, T-Wolves history. 
And uh, shout out to Chris Finch. I hope he's okay uh, with that scary injury on the sideline last night. Um, but if you can get some rest, mental and physical, this time of the year, that's that's so important. And uh, we'll we'll need the rest as we get ready for game one on Saturday. That that rest also for the guys that are injured, but some of the young guys you talked about all year having to play young guys, and these are big, big games. These guys are getting minutes. Good to get them kind of mentally rested a little bit and ready for the second round. Yeah, and, and understanding that, like you know. Like in our locker room, there wasn't a huge celebration. I mean, like we, we, we did what we were supposed to do in our eyes. Um, and now it's an opportunity to get guys rest, but each, each series is completely different. You know, who played in this series may not be the same as who plays next series. Different matchups, different strategy, different game plans. Uh, I thought Peyton Watson hit a big, big shot tonight. You know, that was a big three he made. Uh, but any moments that Christian or Peyton get, this was a closeout game. I ran our starters heavy minutes, and uh, and thankfully that paid off. And we, and we don't have to kind of go back and try to get game six in L.A. Coach, you said the start in game four was un uh, unacceptable. Did you see that intensity at the start of game five that you wanted to see? Oh, yeah. No, our guys were ready to go. Uh, that's one thing about our group. I think we have the ability to be honest with each other and, more importantly, be honest with ourselves. And they, they knew that, you know, that, that game in L.A. game four wasn't who we are and what we're about. And what's important is how do you bounce back? And I felt, well, once again, we talked about winning the first quarter, not playing from a deficit. And, uh, and we did that tonight. And uh, that was uh, great to see some growth in that area. And uh, that's got to continue as we move forward. Uh, two, two things. First, this wasn't a, another 29-point game for Aaron Gordon, but, but how big was that offensive rebound in traffic? late in the game to deny a possession where you guys would have been trailing in the last minute. And, and then sort of when you zoom out and look at this series, like, like you said, a little closer than maybe the five games would indicate, how, how do you kind of sort of overall evaluate the way the team is playing so far in the playoffs going into the second round? Well, regarding Aaron, I mean, he's a warrior and does the dirty work. So seven points, six assists, 13 rebounds, five on the offensive glass. None bigger than that one in traffic that he wrestles away from two Lakers. And we wound up getting a kick out three. And those are huge extra possessions and huge points for us down the stretch of a very close game. Um, and then how would I rate how we're playing right now? Um, as I said, all series, and we won the series four to one. I think there's so much room for improvement. It was great to see us finally make some threes tonight, 16 of 38. Uh, that has been a real um, area where we have struggled, not because they weren't good looks, just because they weren't going down. But uh, we can get better, and we're going to have to be better because Minnesota was the number one team in the West for most of the year. And um, you know that's going to be a hard-fought series. I'm sure they're going to want revenge from last season. Coach, what is getting Tess? I'm over here. Sorry, I'm like way in the corner. Uh, I have flowers. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is getting tested like this in this first round series? Uh, kind of do for you guys. Well, I, I think you know iron sharpens iron, man, and uh, you know they they forced us to to dig deep and and find different ways to to beat them. And uh, I mean Nikola Jokic, you consider what he did in this series with the constant double teaming. It's really incredible. Um, you know, but you want to be tested, you know, and, and, and that's what you – when you play against really talented teams like the Lakers, man, they force you to dig deep and, and, and they force you to be disciplined and urgent and tough um, and aggressive, everything you could come up with. And so this series definitely has gotten us ready for the Minnesota series. Um, but with that being said, we will have to play even better if we're going to have any chance of trying to compete with them. Thanks, everybody. Thank